Hey guys, the objective for this video is to introduce Macaulay brackets and their application. So if we just have a look at a simply supported beam here with a point load applied in the middle. Now hopefully you'll know from the bending moment topic that this, the bending moment diagram is going to look a little bit like this. So the maximum moment that's going to be in the center is going to be P L over 4. Now we can come up with an equation for the bending moment diagram, but it has to be split into two. So if you remember the past examples that we've been through, the bending moment diagram has always been continuous. So that means that when we've used the equation d squared v dz squared is equal to m on ei, we've always had a constant common equation for bending moment. But in this case here, our equation is actually made up of two parts. The first equation is the moment is equal to pz over 2, and that occurs up until the point when z is equal to l on 2. So when z is greater than or equal to l on 2, we've got this equation here. So that should be less than or equal to l on 2. But then when m is greater, when z is greater than l on 2, m is equal to pz on 2 minus pz minus l on 2. So we've got a completely different equation here when z is greater than or equal to l on 2. So the way that we deal with this and the way that we work out the deflection for these types of loading is we use a concept called Macaulay brackets. So Macaulay brackets essentially change with the value